Hey everybody, it's Harry from 780 Barbecue. It's turkey season again, and a lot of times the adults have their turkey that they're enjoying, but the kids have no special dish on their own. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a, some tricks on how to make a turkey porcupine, where we're gonna convert a little turkey breast here into a little turkey porcupine that the little ones can pick off, stick in a bun and some cranberry sauce, and have their own very special Thanksgiving for the little ones. really easy to make a turkey porcupine. The first thing you want to do is you want to have a couple of spacers lined up and you'll notice that I have the turkey on a wire rack. This is the pizza grate that I use for my chicken cook-offs but if you have a rack or some kind of cookie cooling rack it's also great. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of spacers on each end here so I don't cut right the way through. I'm going to make a cut like this about uh, all the way down so that uh, I can create a half inch cuts here half or three quarter inch cuts and these uh, spaces allow me, me to cut without going all the way through Hold it like so cutting it into a porcupine shape so that when it cooks it kind of just kind of uh, lays open and on this side having the uh, turkey bonus breast sit on a grate helps to keep the shape so it doesn't kind of spread out when you cook it you can do this uh, in the pit, you can also do this in the oven, they both work really well. And it's even easier if this is a little bit semi-frozen, that way it's easy to cut. We're gonna apply a little bit of rub on it. Before I do that, I need to transfer it over to the oil pan, so it's easy to handle. Place it in here. Apply some all-purpose rub on it, and you can uh, open up the pieces that you cut. Get the rub in between. There you have it. Not too hard to do, and uh, we're gonna cook it so that it's uh, internal temperature about 165, and serve with some cranberry sauce and some buns. We're gonna put it into a Green Mountain. Daniel Boone today, which is a pellet grill. And uh, get this tray in here now. And let it smoke at about 275 until the internal temperature is about 160, 165 or so. I changed my mind and ordinarily I would cook this uh, porcupine turkey for the kids in the pit. But uh, for some of my viewers who don't have smokers, I wanted to offer you an option of cooking this thing in your oven at home. So what you do is you set your oven to 275, let it cook until the internal temperature is about 165 degrees. All right, we are about 160 degrees. Uh, that's, I think, hot enough. Since this is a breast meat, you don't really need to cook it much longer than uh, 160. So that's nice and ready to go. Here you have it, the uh, little turkey porcupine completed. And we're gonna serve with some cranberry sauce. I'm going to make some sandwiches out of it. It's gonna be super awesome, tasty for the kids. Okay, ready to make some sandwiches. Um, I have some Hawaiian sweet bread, and I have a uh, brioche roll here. We're gonna take a few pieces out of this. Turkey on it, with cranberry, and do one on the brioche bread. There you have it, a nice uh, porcupine turkey sandwich and a uh, nice uh, porcupine turkey Hawaiian roll. Hope you like this video and uh, please like and subscribe and thanks for stopping by my website and uh, helping me get to 20,000 subscribers. Hopefully this kid friendly recipe will uh, be able to you know wow your kids uh, during the turkey week. We have uh, also a barbecue turkey recipe and many other goodies on my website. So please feel free to check it out. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode.